Seems to me all of these issues derive from the same central pathology of modernity, selfishness. I think it's simple. I think it's actually a simple answer. You don't need some highfalutin political jargon here. I think it comes down to selfishness, okay? And you know that we're a bit of a selfish culture now. We spend an entire month celebrating pride, pride, the definition of selfishness, right? And self, self-obsession. I think there's a, a real connection here. A, a culture that does not value its inheritance, whether it's a financial, you know, money inheritance or whether it's a cultural inheritance is going to squander that. And it's not going to pass anything along to its posterity except for debt. Right? So this is a weird thing that we live in a culture now that does not leave an inheritance to the, to the future generations. It leaves debt. Likewise, a generation that's not interested in the future, not interested in posterity, not interested in having kids or leaving them anything, has no reason at all to pass on their, their cultural inheritance or their financial inheritance or anything. Who cares about the history of America? Who cares about Thomas Jefferson? Who cares about any of our traditions? We don't even care about the future. We don't care about who comes after us. The fact that we're forgetting about our past ties into the fact that we're forgetting about our future and vice versa. And what you have, I'm remembered of this line from George Orwell in 1984. The line goes, every record has been destroyed or falsified. Every book rewritten. Every picture has been repainted. Every statue and street building has been renamed. Every date has been altered. And the process is continuing day by day and minute by minute. History has stopped. Nothing exists except an endless present in which the party is always right. That's George Orwell describing this this sort of dystopian hellscape in 1984. And that description, I think, suits progressives pretty well. Progressives hate the past. It's right there in their name. They want to progress beyond the past. The progressives always want to topple those statues down. And maybe even the sadder part is it basically suits conservatives well as well, because conservatives, at least in recent years, have only been focused on the present. They haven't been focused on conserving very much of anything. You saw this at the Supreme Court just this week, but you, you've seen this in, in recent decades. We've, we've lost on so many issues. We've given up so many things. And then there's this irony, which is that conservatives always talk about fiscal responsibility, yet when we get into the government, we spend just as much money, if not more, as the left because we're trying to paper over cultural problems by just spending, spending our way out of it, by just having this facade of prosperity. We don't care if the left topples all the statues and ruins our whole culture. As long as we get a few tax cuts every once in a while, yeah, not permanent ones, but you know, just every so often give us a tax cut and then that's fine. Well, that doesn't conserve much of anything at all. And I think it just comes down to this myopic focus on the present, not the past, not the future. Not the people who came before us, not the people who come after us, just us ourselves. Just this kind of selfishness. We conserve nothing. <laughs>